Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to investigate an IP address in Microsoft Defender for endpoint. We have to examine possible communication between the devices and the external IP addresses. We have to identify all devices in the company that communicated with a suspected or a known malicious IP address which would help us determine the potential scope of the breach. We can then quarantine associated file and the infected devices. We have to, we can find information from the following sections. When you are investigating, you will have the reverse TNS names, alerts related to the IP addresses and the IP addresses in the company. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, so I am logged on to the portal here and if you go to the incidents or alerts, let's say I pick up this incident or, or the incident and then corresponding alerts into that multi-stage incident, it is loading an alert. Okay, here is the complete uh, alert story that you are getting, right? Now if you scroll down you will see okay script was executed suspicious powershell command line and uh, how it was resolved how it was detected and then the corresponding alerts for for that particular incident now let's say i click on this right you see the details here and then this is the entity name or the ip addresses and let's say if i want to investigate this so I click on open IP address page after clicking on to that IP address it will load the if you see here IP summary you have the overview open incident related to these IP or the IP it doesn't have much details here and prevalence there is the zero devices in the organization. So what privilege does is prevalence section would display how many devices have connected to this IP address and when the IP was first and last seen, right? We can filter the results of this section by time period. The default period is 30 days. If you want to filter it, you can filter it from here. And observe in the organization, the IP in the organization, this section would provide details on the prevalence of the IP address in the organization. So there are no associated uh, uh, devices or infected devices or malicious IP addresses associated with these IPs. And that is why you're not seeing this. Now, if you come on the incident alert, it would show the alerts related to this IP address. And the IP address details, there's a, there is a section called IP Worldwide and Reverse TNS Names. The IP address details section shows the attributes of the IP address such as its ASN and its reverse DNS name. And if I go here in the overview section again, zero devices, most recent, and if you go back, click on here right and there are options wherein it will also show the most recent observed devices with IP right so it would provide a chronological view on the events and associated alerts that were observed on the IP addresses all right so this is how you investigate details about a suspicious IP or the IP you think will be suspicious or affected in the through uh, with the help of Defender for Endpoint. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.